jailed and detained for several years, and then were tried uh, by a military trial, and they were given uh, everything from life sentence to some getting 10 years. There's an absolutely brutal repression of any expression of independence in occupied Western Sahara. Amanatu Haider has often been called the Gandhi of Western Sahara. That's what she looks like on the left, but in the middle, she looked, that's what she looked like after she came out of jail. Oh. And those blotches on her clothes are blood. This is a smuggled photograph from a prison in Morocco, and this is a picture taken on one of the streets in uh, Western Sahara. There are ongoing uh, small demonstrations and often just random beating down of doors and taking out people out of their beds and beating them. This is the Canadian connection. We have two very large fertilizer companies in Canada, the largest in the world being Potash Corp, which buys phosphates from Western Sahara, marketed by a wholly owned Moroccan company. But they are taken to Louisiana. They're not brought to Canada because Potash is really an American company, even though it's supposedly Canadian. And they make the fertilizer in Louisiana. Agrium is a Calgary-based Potash company, and they have been importing shiploads. Uh, in fact, the fourth one is on its way now. Shiploads of phosphates into North Vancouver to be shipped to Calgary to make uh, fertilizer for Canada, and they're used by the people who tree, tree plant, who reforest. All those little trees that are plugged into the ground have agrium uh, fertilizer and phosphates. In fact, many of the domestic fertilizers that you might buy to put in your garden probably uh, originate from agrium or potash corp, and they have Western Sahara phosphates in them, and so does Coca-Cola, which is made with phosphoric acid. The United Nations were the ones who, who negotiated the peace deal between Morocco and the Polisario, and uh, they were to oversee a referendum and to prepare the conditions for a free and fair referendum. Uh, that started in 1991. They uh, have their mandate renewed every year, and so there are a couple of hundred people from the United Nations who tour around Western Sahara, they, have not, uh, they do not report on human rights violations. They do not report on the lack of conditions for safe and uh, uh, fair referendum. And they certainly have not done anything about referendum. They did at one time get caught defacing uh, some historic, prehistoric caves. It's very interesting that um, Canada, within days of uh, Russia going into the Ukraine, was prepared to send military aid and uh, um, condemn Russia for what they were doing in the Ukraine, but has been silent for 38 years on the subject of Moroccan occupation and continued repression in uh, Western Sahara. This is a young man whose poetry is used and his calligraphy is used for the cause. My homeland lives inside me, although I do not live in it. It's settled in my heart, though I was born far away from it. He's too young to have been born in, in Western Sahara. He's one of the many that was born in the camp. The paper is here. Uh, it has the, all the references that, and all the sources of uh, information that you might want on Western Sahara, including some very good books and films. And it also includes, because the motto of my organization is knowing is not enough, act for peace and justice. So it includes a sheet of action. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.